on H Town High School Sports. It's the final four in the state basketball playoffs. As Booker T. Washington in Class 4A and the Hitchcock Bulldogs in 3A pursue state championships. Plus, much more on a historic season for Washington and a very special Team of the Week report. In soccer, it's off to Doby to meet our Coach of the Week. And back in basketball, it's a simply spectacular part one edition of the Plays of the Year. H-Town High School Sports starts now. Hello everyone and welcome to H-Town High School Sports. Powered by Vibe, I'm Todd Freed. And then there were two as Booker T. Washington in Class 4A and the nearby Hitchcock Bulldogs in Class 3A advanced to the UIL State Basketball Tournament. As for Booker T, the Eagles face Bernie in Friday's 4A State Semifinals. At the Alamo Dome in San Antonio, Booker T Washington set for its first ever UIL State Final Four. Early on, Kenneth Lewis to Otis Carter Jr. What a game he had, banks in the three. More Booker T, Andrew Walker the second, hits a three pointer, he had 11 points. Then, Chris McDermott was dominant. Twists, turns and scores, 19-16, Washington after one in the second. Walker, alley-oop to McDermott, and he slams it. Then, the same duo, Walker to McDermott, and he puts it away again. But, Bernie came on strong late in the half. Trevor Agarwal, for three, hits it. Then, it's Agarwal again, three more, and the Greyhounds go up by one at the half, 32 to 31. The third, a big one for Washington. Lewis for three, he likes to bounce him up, and in. Then, on the break, Cameron Jackson to Carter, and he hits another three. He had a game high, 24 points. Off the rebound now, the pass to Carter, and he does it again. 57-47, Washington after three. In the fourth, more Otis Carter. He knocks down another three. Meantime, McDermott was simply powerful. 16 rebounds, 22 points, and Washington wins. 62-49 to set up a showdown with top-ranked Oak Cliff Faith Family Academy for the 3A state championship. And so, with that win, Booker T advanced to the 4A state final to face an Oak Cliff Faith Family Academy team that owned a number one state ranking. But most importantly, the winner of this one would own the Class 4A state championship. And this, our Fred Hass Auto Group Game of the Week. Booker T. Washington set for the state final against Oak Cliff Faith Family Academy. Faith Family, massive size. Their six foot 11 center, Dorian Onwuchekwa. Early on, six foot eight, Jaden Toppin with the slam. Booker T was off to a great start. Andre Walker for three of his 11 points. It's good. Then off the miss, Chris McDermott for Booker T will come out of nowhere for the slam. He had 18 points. Then Otis Carter chases it down and he goes all the way. 20 to 15, Washington after one. In the second for Faith Family, Peyton Gusters to Toppin and Toppin tops it off with the stuff. Late in the half now, Kenneth Lewis for Booker T. For two of his 14, Washington trailed though by one at half. Third quarter, Faith Family took command. Off the miss, Dorian Onwuchekwa with the big slam. Then for Faith Family, it's Toppin to Peyton Gusters for the big put away. And Faith Family pulls away, 70 to 56 is the final. Washington, one win shy of its first state championship. Still immense pride by Booker T as head coach Vincent Grayson raises the state runner-up trophy. Loads of emotion to say the least and a special appreciation to the Booker T community. Our family just wait, they were waiting for something like this to happen. It, it's just beautiful seeing them out there like that and supporting us. It's just, it's a good thing. They've been waiting for years. First time going to the UIL tournament. First time going to the Little Championship game. And they just, they just needed something to get to cheer for. And hopefully, hopefully we gave them something to cheer for this year. What a ride, you know. Uh, last game of the season in Texas. Big basketball. 
We, you know, we made it to the last game. We had a chance. That's all you ask for when you do this thing. You ask for a chance. So we had a chance to get here and try to win. In what's been a truly historical season for Booker T. Washington, the Eagles earned their first berth to the UIL State Basketball Tournament. More on a remarkable season as we recognize the Booker T. Washington Eagles as our Stellar Bank Team of the Week. As Booker T. Washington celebrated the Class 4A Region 3 Championship, they did so in epic fashion. <laughs> earning the school's first ever berth to the UIL State Basketball Tournament. It's big, it's huge for the community. Alumni has called me every day saying, thank you coach, thank you coach for what you've done for our school and our community. It's very special to me because Coach Grayson, we owe this to Coach Grayson as much as he's done for us and the community. They love it here. They treat us like a family. It means a lot knowing that the community is coming out being proud. Uh, class of 68, 70s, they out and proud of us. They're just happy that we uh, able to get to this. The Eagles got to this point by avenging last season's loss to Silsby in the very same regional finals making the post-game celebration all the more rewarding. I think a lot of those from last year when Sisley beat us, and we know we had a chance to win that game. And we had one thing on our mind, Sisley. And we wanted to meet Sisley in the original finals. That's why it was so many emotions, you know. Our motivation was different. Last year was our first, like I said, it was our first year playing with each other, and we made it to fifth round deep in playoffs against a very good team who's been there multiple times. But for us knowing where, where we at and what we need to do, we knew what we had to do going into that game to win. A win that senior guard Andre Walker II shared with his dad, HISD Athletic Director Andre Walker. A joy moment because I told him when I got here, I told him that I'm going to bring this team to state. So it's just knowing that I was able to accomplish that made me happy. Incredibly happy for a tremendously talented and especially tight-knit team. At the practice, we'll go sit in my office two or three hours, and we'll just sit there and talk and talk. Don't nobody want to go home. You know, we really love each other. We really like each other. We like being around each other. And perhaps no one person is soaking in the pride and joy of this historic birth to state than longtime Eagles head coach Vincent Grayson. So I've been here 20 years now. Uh, head coach 16 years, four years on the great clam stubble field. It's a great feeling, man. It's a great feeling to finally get a chance to go to state. And we are here on campus at Booker T. Washington. Along with the Eagles, I'm joined by Jason Bates of Stellar Bank. Coach, congratulations on a historic season. I'd like to present you with our plaque at Stellar Bank Team of the Week. All right. Yeah. Welcome back to H Town High School Sports, powered by Vibe. I'm Todd Freed, resuming our coverage of the UIL State Basketball Tournament, where in Class 3A, the nearby Hitchcock Bulldogs advanced to state for the second straight year. The Bulldogs faced Hooks High School in Thursday's state semifinals. Hitchcock back at the Alamo Dome for the 3A state semifinals. They jumped up big early against Hooks. Damian McDaniel to Lloyd Jones the third and the bucket. Then Elijah Sherwood with the 360 spin. 10 nothing Bulldogs in the first. Kelshawn Johnson on the baseline. He scores. It's 12 to nothing. Then Sherwood through the defense, fouled and count the bucket. 17 6. Hitchcock after one. More Bulldogs. Sherwood in the corner for three. He hits it. Still in the second now. Teron Elam with the long three and drills it. Then off the steal, it's McDaniel who takes it. He goes all the way, 33-13, Bulldogs at half in the third. 
McDaniel to Bryce Dorsey in the corner, hits a three, 38-18. Then the pass into Jones, he gets fouled and counted. He had 17 points. Huge game for Elijah Sherwood. The three right here, he had 22 points. Hitchcock dominates 69-36 to advance to the state final. So with that victory in hand, Hitchcock returned to the Alamo Dome Saturday morning, one win away from the Class 3A State Basketball Championship. Hitchcock all set for its first ever state final facing Childress Saturday morning. Final seconds of the first for Hitchcock. Lloyd Jones the third with the shot to beat the buzzer. It goes 12-10 Bulldogs after one in the second. Teron Elam spinning off balance shot is good and the foul. Here's Damian McDaniel, he had a big game. Nice jumper there, 21 to 17 Bulldogs. Then it's Elijah Sherwood for three, hits it. 28-20 Bulldogs at half in the third. McDaniel to Sherwood, he scores 42-36 after three, Hitchcock in the fourth. McDaniel for two of his game high, 22 points, nice shot. More Hitchcock now. Jaden Saxton Rivera will take it. He scores 48-37. Hitchcock pulling away on the break. It's Elam to McDaniel. He scores. And Hitchcock with a decisive 68-45 victory. They won their last 22 games in a row while earning the first state championship in school history. And guess what? All five starters return next season. We'll have reaction and more from Hitchcock on next week's show. Congratulations to the Bulldogs. All right, switching gears right now where the soccer playoffs are right around the corner. And one team on the brink of entering the postseason with an undefeated record is the Dobie Longhorns. Under the guidance of longtime head coach Justo Manrique, it's been a magnificent season for the Longhorns. And Coach Manrique is our ARS Coach of the Week. Coach, ninth straight district championship. How special is this one? It's very special. It's the most special one. It's the hardest. It's, so far, it's been the hardest one. We were pushed to the last game uh, by Pasadena and uh, and all our all our rivals. Deer Park, Channel View, Rayburn, Memorial and Soho have given us great games, great competition, very hard. So this one is the one that feels the most special. 22 games into the season and you're still undefeated. What do you attribute that kind of success to? I'm very proud of them. I'm very happy uh, with with the kids because uh, we've proven to be a team that, that bends but doesn't break. They've overcome all sorts of obstacles. We've had a lot of injuries, some season ending prior to the season even starting. We've had to adjust uh, constantly. The kids have stepped up. We've uh, changed formations and line, lineups all the time to be able to, to win games. And uh, the kids are just like water. They, uh, they adjust and do what, do what they need to do to, to pull through. As I said, Coach, nine straight district titles. You were in the state Final Four in 2017. How have you maintained that success year in and year out? The kids know the expectation and, and they rise to it. Holding themselves accountable for the level of, the level of play and practice, for uh, being on time, for having their grades. I think all those things add up and uh, it makes me the proudest that um, we can have continued success because the kids every year are following the structure and improving it. Welcome back to the show, everyone. It's the middle of March, which can mean only one thing. The baseball and softball seasons are in full swing. And right in the swing of things is Vite Media's Matt Malatesta. My man. Great to see you again. Good to see you. Your new baseball softball edition is out, so you've been studying this stuff. Hard to believe we're already starting district play. Basketball's been on the mind. Right. Let's start softball. Lake Creek, unbelievable. Win streak is up to 62 in a row, dating back to last year. I don't know if many people know this, but they were the team of the year in the country by Gatorade last season. Amazing team. They can hit. They could pitch. They could run. 
They can play great defense. Ava Brown, of course, superstar pitcher. You got Maddie McKee going to LSU, the shortstop. She's kind of the, stir, the straw that makes everything go. She's really fun. Can anybody challenge them in this region? And who would it be if so? Well, don't sleep on Foster. Mm -hmm. Ella McDowell, superstar right. shortstop. And then Barbers Hill, always a power. Watch out for them um, because I think, you know, they just got that cachet, as it were, in this uh, in, in state softball. And they had a big win this week over Crosby. Class 6A, Deer Park, great as always. What is in the water over there? They're so good year in, year out. That is the mecca for the city of Houston as it relates to softball. All right, so let's talk about baseball. And we'll start with 5A. I know everybody loves the friends with Mustangs. Well, I tell you what, they were so close last year. They get to the state uh, the state final. They just can't get it done. They lost a lot of kids off that team, but Booch Landry, what a great baseball name, Booch Landry. Yes. Going to Texas A&M, he's kind of the leader of that bunch. Watch out for Friendswood. They're going to be really good this year. Lake Creek and 5A, don't sleep on them also. They're loaded at pitching. Yeah, at Lake Creek, baseball, softball, doesn't matter what sport, right. something's going on in Montgomery County. Class 6A, uh, Rich Point, defending region champ. Yep. But, uh, they got off to a bit of a slow start. Who are the teams that are really impressing you? Well, I, I really like Pearland, and I love the Woodlands because of Braden Sharp. He is a guy that's likely going to get drafted. He's committed to Tennessee. He can pitch. He can hit. He's a lefty. He's, a, he's the total package as it relates to high school baseball. Watch out for them. The Vibe Preview Baseball Softball is out at your favorite newsstand or school or AD office or wherever else you keep your magazines. Or online. Or online. All right. Matt Maltesta, Vibe Media. Thanks. Welcome back, everyone. With this week in state finals, the basketball season is officially done with. An incredible season at that. But not before we bring you part one of the Rhythm Energy Electrifying Plays of the Year. Dawson's Larry Lyons against Seven Lakes and the In Your Face Slam. Oh, my. Same game. Seven Lakes off the miss, high off the rim. A.J. Bates soars in for the stop. Elkins versus Travis. Justin Mitchell up to Jacoby Osborne, and he hammers it home. Straight Jesuit, second overtime versus Manville. Aiden McKee with the great spinning shot, and in double overtime, Streg Jesuit wins a thriller, 77 to 74. Washington against Bel Air for Booker T. Andre Walker, no look to Chris McDermott, who slams it. Same game for Bel Air. Shelton Henderson, coast to coast, and the jam. Same game, Otis Carter to Andre Walker, back to Kenneth Lewis, and he puts it away in the Washington win. Texas versus Louisiana showcase. How about St. Thomas's Jake Pike? Now that's Pike's peak right there, oh my. Booker T. Washington, Walker running alley-oop to Lewis, and the dunk in the win over Houston Christian. Fort Bend Marshall, Jalen Lowe with the great no-look pass to Naheem Northern for the slam in the win over Foster. Cy Falls and Cy Springs, Tugler, check out no-look, Raylan Young, and the slam. The clincher here, Tugler, pickpocket steal, he goes all the way, and the put away in the Cy Falls victory. Stratford versus Memorial now. Stratford's Keanu Dawes, alley-oop, Kamari Stanfield, and he puts it away. Same game. This time, Dawes will take it after the Hawaiian Luau. And Dawes splits the defense and stuffs it. Same game. Memorial Mustangs. Matthew Janicek battles on the floor for the loose ball, then makes the great outlet out to Sean Rodriguez. And Rodriguez gets the bucket, and the Mustangs win. For the Kincaid Falcons, Jack Paris, final seconds of the first quarter, near half court, launches it, and it goes. What a shot against Episcopal. Same game, Episcopal, Christian Houston to Justin Begg, and Begg with the mega slam. Same game, but final minute, Knights to Sean Brody with the great defense. He blocks the shot, tracks it down, then goes all the way for the bucket in the overtime win. For Seven Lakes against Katie Taylor, Tillman Hadamil to A.J. Bates, who soars for the slam in the Seven Lakes win. 
Klein Collins, final seconds of the first against Klein Oak. Aaron Paris spins, goes down, beats the buzzer, and what a shot, what a game he had. Later in the game, how about Greg Jackson? The great spin, the foul, and the bucket, and the Collins win. The Woodlands Christian Academy's Josh Bento, seven three-pointers against Second Baptist, and the foul on that one. Same game, how about Christian Haskett for the Eagles? Heaves it up there, off the glass, and in. But the Woodlands Christian won the game. The Woodlands Highlanders, Shea Eberwine against Conroe, gets the big slam. Then, Eberwine again, behind the back, step back three. He scored a school record 44 points in the win. Cy Creek, Corey Hadnock was spectacular. To Thomas Griggs for the slam. Same game, here's Corey Hadnock. He gets the steal against Stratford, and then he hammers it home. Oh my. And then, later in the game, off the steal, it's Dawes, spins, and jams, but Cy Creek won the game. And then for Fort Bend Marshall, Jalen Lowe with this bucket, 2,000 career points. Remarkable. A very special scene afterwards in the Fort Bend Marshall victory. Manville versus Texas City. Off the miss, Caden Smith follow-up jam. There falls, final seconds, first quarter against Dickinson. Orlando Horton with the buzzer beater. Same game, Dickinson's Zion Little with a lot on that jam. Wow. Barbers Hill, Bryce Smith, baseline, acrobatic shot, foul, and bucket against Goose Creek. And for Barbers Hill, is she a cheerleader or a gymnast? Perfect landing for Barbers Hill all the way around in the victory. Part one of your Rhythm Energy electrifying plays of the year. All right, and next week we'll have part two of the plays of the year. Can't wait for that. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, stay H-Town proud.